Hey guys, Nolan the Gamer here, and today I'm going to be playing Minecraft, but I'm not actually playing it. This is just a quick tutorial, and this is for low-end PCs. So if you're playing on a MacBook Air, like me, don't I don't judge. I, I play on it too, so it's, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, right? And especially with the M1 chip, it's, it's really nice with no shaders. But if you want shaders, if you want your game to look amazing, then here's how to customize your BSL shaders. BSL is BSL shaders are the most like popular shaders right now, so I'm just gonna do this tutorial. Optifine and BSL are the are, is the most popular, but if you have Iris and Silders, that's completely fine. There are other tutorials out there, so you know just kind of just look it up like I did when I was struggling for FPS. So let so that was with shaders off. Let me turn on BSL shaders. Takes a second. And as you can see, this is an incredibly low frame rate. I'm like at 10 FPS right now, and it looks terrible, really. It's hard to play like this, especially in survival. As you can tell, I'm in survival, but normally I'm in creative. But still, even in creative, it is terrible, terrible, terrible. And I have clouds on and all this stuff. It, the game looks amazing, but it's a terrible frame rate. And I've and I've talked about this in my hardcore series. But if you if you have Optifine, I am getting ahead of myself here. You're gonna want to press Escape, Options, Video Settings, Shaders, and then make sure you have BSL shaders selected. Go to Shader Options, and you're gonna want to start with Lighting. And with Lighting, I mean Ambient Occlusion. It's it's up to you. You can turn it off on. It doesn't make too much of a difference, but it might. But the biggest thing, the default for profile is high. So turn that to low, and that will make a huge difference. So ready, watch my FPS in the top left corner. I'll point it out when I edit this. And see how it's 9 FPS, 10 FPS, right? Then go into a then as it reloads when I go into atmospherics, suddenly I'm at 25 FPS. Now here's another big thing. Turn off clouds. This might seem like, oh no, but it's not that much of a difference. And it's completely fine. And it's up to you if you want round sun and moon. It's the difference between 29 FPS and 30. Um, I have Aurora on. I don't really know what it does. I guess it's I guess it's in the top. It's, it, I thought it did it for the end like complementary shaders do, but it doesn't. It's just when you look to the north at nighttime it, in like in like a taiga biome or a snow biome, ice biome, um, then you'll see auroras. Anyway, then you're going to want to go into camera, turn off bloom and lens flare. All right. The default is on, but you're going to turn that off. That makes pretty good difference. See, now I'm at 30 FPS, 26. That's definitely better. And then water, turn off parallax. This helps when you're near water. And the default detail is somewhere. The default detail is 25%. I turned it down to 15, but really I don't think it makes too much of a difference, right? Yeah. R like I said, difference between 25 FPS and 27. It's just, just not much. Then you're only going to go into extras. Never mind, nothing in extras. Anti-aliasing, it's up to you. Um, like I said, difference between two FPS. It, if you want it on, you can have it on. And then you're going to want to go into material. Never mind. <laughs> but that's that's pretty much it. If you want to turn off some, some of this, you can. Um... I like having around sun and moon on, but I, I'm going to turn it off, see if it makes any difference. It really doesn't. Not really. Yeah. But anyway, the main thing is profile and clouds. Profile and clouds are the biggest things, and that will change so much about your FPS from 10 to 30. And I hope, I really hope that this tutorial helped you guys. And, you know, you should see another video pop up up there and there somewhere somewhere around here, whether it's in the iCard or up as the end screen. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.